Welcome back, folks, to some more The Walking Dead. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hmm, energy bar. Sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Oh, that's too bad. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's not much but here. For the boar. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. Whoops. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. Okay, and bitch. you should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything, and Duck could have been bitten. Sure, I guess. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah. Love you too, old it. man. It's just that. Yeah. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, Smash your fucking head with the hammer. To have you. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. Try to get some rest, huh? How can I with those things out there? 
What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. batteries in this thing. No shit. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Let's find some batteries, shall we? So far, this game is a joke as far as difficulty. like playing a book. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yeah. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Really? You can't figure out how to put batteries in a fucking radio? He's a genius! Death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. And his cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. 
All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you Way okay? to go, I hurt my clumsy finger. ass. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? There's a photo over there. Mama Dukes! Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Pimp slap. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. Pimp slap. I you. I'll just keep it to myself. I don't trust you. Well, you better try. Fucker. Don't trust nobody. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Let us look for the remote control and see what sports games are on television. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Yeah. 
It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Yeah, Larry can blow. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. He's banging my wife. It's as bad as it gets. You gotta fucking die if you do that shit. It's called justice. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, Lee, just leave me alone. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Let's head on out. Take state. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do the damn thing. Looks like my grandpa. Whew. Holy shit, that is my grandpa. There must be some bingo around here. Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Shoot! Nice. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and what, saying I was- Is busy. she hot? I tried to convince her I wasn't. And that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. 
Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Grab that shit. Good pillow fight stuff. with the zombie. That's not really what I have in mind. See the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Mm, zombie.
Lee is a cold-blooded killer. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. Fuck in her. a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit <laughs> but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend glenn i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know! That was why I was locked away! I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? 
I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Do it. Fine. You're all fucking crazy. I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Show it. How come there was no option for do it, bitch? Or get on with it already? Or what's the hold up? You do what has to be done. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right, let's get these pills out of the pharmacy. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Nice polar bear reindeer shirt, dickhead. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Can't reach that brick. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Look at the one trapped over there. Yeah, looks for better than us. Huh? Shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. 
But it would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. It's a combination lock. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Fucking done, Doug. All that dark oh, nonsense did not. save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Zombies like to watch TV. I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Hey, man, what are you doing? can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. That'll get their attention for a while. Yeah, we want to eat TV. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Bro. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I got to do this now, man. Got to do this. Let me do it. Boom! Oh, that and that's one dull axe. You weak ass. There you go, finally. Skull splitting. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Oh, 
shit, I've never seen a black man run so fast. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Sweet. This chick comes with a screwdriver.
Americans are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and await further instructions. Moving in the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, or Orlando oh, may become necessary oh, in order to ensure oh, the safety of all citizens. It was so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all three cities. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. Hey, go ahead. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. That looks like when where we a few days ago, meets up with uh, Rick Grimes. I gotta take my chances. Later on in the comic. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway. Takes balls, baby. Around. Takes balls. Something most little Chinese men don't have. A medica, very large penis. Hey kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. You'll be alright. Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. You're hotter. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Need some chocolate love, you give me a holler. It's all like pow pow pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then Hey Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie. 
It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Let's kick this oh, dude's man. ass. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Or not. To be continued. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry about as much as the bandits. finally released. I'll be bringing it to you as soon as I can. Here's the chart. This looks like it's a overall statistics of other players playing the game. 71% players were honest with Herschel. 41% chose Sean. 52% Sided with Larry. 45% gave the bitch the gun. And 73% chose Carly, because they're men, and we're pigs. And we save the tits before the dicks. Alright folks, that wraps it up for episode one. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.